anything. So good evening once more. My name is Adishino and I will be your anchor for the next couple of minutes. And I'll be running through three very important Excel functions that can also be used for data collision and those function are the rank, the rank function. So if you permit me, we'll be looking at, uh, let me make this bold. So we'll be looking at the rank function. We'll be looking at um, match function and we'll be looking at uh, offset. All right. So let me make this bold and uh, big. All right. Yes. So we'll be looking at these three functions and this will conclude our assessment sheet exercise. So this will be the part three of our assessment sheet. So what is the use or what is the significance of rank? We're going to see that as we go along. Also the match function and the offset. So from previous classes, I believe we all have this assessment sheet and we have calculated for total score, letter gradient using E function, um, remark using both E function and conditional formatting. And now we are going to continue with rank. So rank is a function that um, tells you how the student has fared from the highest to the lowest, according to the score that we have here. So as not to truncate with what we did, they have copied the information and have moved it to a new sheet. And I named that sheet too. So you can see the distribution of the students for score, individual score and total score, all right? So I've used the rank function, the match function and the offsets earlier on. So this will serve as a guide for us in what we are going to do right now, so as to compare our results when we're done. So if you permit me, as I move a little bit to my right, so these are the columns that we are going to fill for the functions of rank, match, and offset. So this position is just like when you have the position, first position, second position, and third position. So you can just fix that manually. So I have one, two, three. I highlight the three and I drag down, all right? So what I want to do is at the end of this exercise, I want to rank the students using Excel to get the first to the last. When I'm done, I'm going to use the match function, which is going to match the first position to the first rank student, all right? the second position to the second rank student, and in that order till when you get to 20. And when I'm done with that, I'm now going to use the offset function. So the offset function works with the match function, and it's going to return the name of the student that is first position. It will do that for the second position and to the last, which is a 20th student. So without wasting more time, let's go over to the rank function. And to impute that is very simple. You start by the equals to, I tell you anytime you want to impute a mathematical expression or a function, you start by using the equals to, to open the operator. So you type in rank. So you can see rank down there tab. Please mute your microphone. All right. So you type rank and it's going to ask you 
it said what number do you or what number do you want to rank so here what will give us a feel of the rank will be the total score i bet you agree with me on that so since this is the first total score for the student i'll click into that cell i'll put a comma then it's asking me for the reference so the reference will be all the scores that you want to compare this first cell with and that will be this whole colon all right so one thing we want to do here is we want to make this absolute and the reason why i want to make it absolute is because by the time we start dragging down this column can change so keeping it absolute means even when we drag it down for the other students this will remain constant so you just use your f4 button to make it absolute for some newer computers you use function f4 is still the same thing then you put a comma then lastly it's asking you for the order order means do you want the rank in descending order starting from the most ranked students or you want in the ascending order so it's better to put it in descending order so that you have the highest rank first so that is zero you close the bracket and you press enter so this student has been ranked 12 meaning that out of all these 20 students 65 percent the student with the 65th score is ranked 12 over 20. okay so let's do that i come to the lower right corner till i see the small black arrow and i drag down for all the other students and you can see now that all these students have been ranked okay here we have one and the list is 20 okay so now what we want to do next is we want to match this rank to the position so that we can have a start final standing for the result. How am I going to do that? I start with the equals to, and I'm going to put match. All right, so there we have it. You press your tab. So it's asking you that lookup value. So what will be in my lookup value? So that will be position, which I have here. I put a comma. Then it asks that um, what will be the lookup array? So the lookup array will be this rank. All right. So I'll highlight the whole column for the rank. Then just like I did for the total score when I was doing my ranking, I'm also going to make this absolute because I wouldn't want a situation whereby when I'm dragging down for all the other students, this will be changing okay so i have to keep this colon constant so i use my in, in, the, in my own case function f4 for some computers to just press f4 i need to make it absolute then i put a comma then it's asking me so do i want to match a value that is less than one greater than one or exact match in this case i want an exact match so i put zero there I close the bracket and I press enter. All right. So there we have the match five. So I drag down to get for all the other students. Okay. So lastly, what I'm going to do now is the offset. So the offset is going to return the student that has the first position the second position in that order okay so how am i going to do that very very simple i put my equals to offset there it is i tab then it's asking me for the reference so the reference will now be since i want to return the names I go to the edge of my um, assessment sheet 
and I click on names, okay? So what I've done is anything that shows under the column where this name is will be the reference in this particular offset cell, okay? So I also make this absolute function F4, then comma, then it's asking me for my rows. Then I go to my match cell, all right? Then I put a comma, then it's asking me for columns. So just put zero, I close it and I press enter. So you can see. So what the offset has helped us to get is to tell us that Bola came first in class. So let's go to the sheet and let's see if this is correct. So yes, yeah, somebody raised hand, I'll attend to you shortly. So this is Bola. You can see Bola had 87% or you can say 87 over 100. And if you check, no one has a higher score other than 87. So our formula is right. So at this point, I can just come to the lower left corner and I'll drag down, all right? So let me make the cell a little bit bigger to contain some names. So there you have it. The first position in class is Bola and the last position is Tolu, okay? So let me do a little bit manipulation and see if this is going to change to make us know if our cell is really automated. So first is Bola and second is Lola. So let's see, let me look for the two students. Okay, so this is Bola with 87 and Lola is 85. So let me add some scores to this lady and see if there will be a change in position over here. So I come here and I add before Lola was 85 and Bola was 87. So now let me make this 11 and I press enter. So you can see now Lola has 90 and automatically she has moved to first position and Bola with 87 has now moved to second position. So that is how to use the rank, the match formula and the offset to grade a set of uh, students, right? And this concludes our work under the assessment sheets. So I will stop the recording now and I'll take questions. Thank you for your time.